welcome back to my garden i know i haven't uploaded a youtube video in quite a while and i'm so sorry about that um it's just that this past winter um our garden didn't do as well as we expected and that's just because the soil that we were planting in had a lot of rocks and everything so it made it hard for the plants to actually thrive um so what we decided to do is and you can see over here my dad built these amazing raised beds over here um four of them to be exact and so that has helped us tremendously be able to actually plant um fruits and vegetables that will actually thrive because the soil that's in the raised beds um has been um fed with proper, proper nutrients um that the plants need and it's also not so um it's that there aren't as many rocks in it and it's not so compact just like the soil on the ground is so um i'm going to give you just a quick tour of the spring 2021 garden so far and this right here is our section of herbs so in this first one here this so the, the seeds that we planted in this one haven't germinated as of yet but i will say it's probably because the weather just started to get warm here in memphis um we actually had a quite cold winter kind of oddly cold so it's finally starting to warm up so we'll see if it starts to um actually germinate but i put some lavender and rosemary in this bed so we'll see if it starts to germinate and then in here it's mostly oregano and cilantro in this one um some of the seeds are actually um germinating if you can see right here some of the seeds are actually starting to germinate just a few so and then this one look i have to look at what i put on these signs because i put other ones to get i put oh i put some basil in here and rosemary okay basil and rosemary in this one i'm i'm terrible at forgetting what i plant i always do that so i always have to read these little he said um slips here that tell me what i planted but it's a little bit of basil and rosemary again it's slightly starting to germinate not really um the weather is just starting to get warm and i actually mean like this past week is the first week where it was warm so we'll see how well it does and then this bed we got quite a few things we have some corn right here and i'm so grateful that we have corn again because the first time that I planted the corn, we got a really bad frost and they all died. So we had to come back in here and plant them all over again. So we did. And right here, we have a few um, dill, which is doing okay. It's not doing great. Um, some dill and then some bell peppers. And then I believe this might be a carrot and that might be a carrot. Yes. And this is a beet. And this row right here, you can tell that that's a beet because you see so much red right there. <laughs> but this row right here is filled with um, Brussels sprouts and bell peppers. So it's doing pretty good. I would say this bed and that bed is doing the best. So you can come down here. And this you can tell, this is uh, corn. This is really cool because a friend of mine, um, like some popcorn that she got from the oil oil redenbacher <laughs> that's how you pronounce it um, she popped herself some popcorn and then she took one of the kernels and propagated it and um that it gets some roots and then she gave it to me and i planted it in the soil so now we're gonna give us some have some popcorn kernels and let's see what else oh eggplant yes so most of these are eggplant we planted these from seed and we got those starters from um, a nursery, a local nursery, I think, um, here in Memphis. Um, and as you can tell, we had a few bugs already trying to eat it. So we had to get some diatomaceous earth, put it on here, and hopefully that helps. And so this right here is a tomato. Oh, look at butterfly. That's a tomato. And then these are peppers, I think. So many peppers, I think. Oh, we have peppers and, and okra. So okra's at the end and peppers right here. Okay, so I'll go to this bed. This bed is more peppers. 
You have a lot of peppers. Um, this is jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno. And then this right here will, will be um, yellow bell peppers if they start to germinate. So, speaking of this bed, this bed and the bed behind it, uh, my dad and I decided to use some bulk soil that we got from a company here locally. Um, and they um, advertised their soil as being perfect for raised beds and vegetable gardening. And it's not terrible, but I can tell that they didn't, um, they didn't actually prepare the soil as well as they said they did because it's not actually allowing the plants to grow as fast as these two are growing. Um, and we use different soil for these beds as these beds. But you know, it's slowly starting to come around, so. But like I said, these are jalapenos. Those will be yellow bell peppers. Something's trying to pop up right there and then. And then we have our squash. That's doing pretty good. That's doing really well, the squash. So I'm really proud about that. And so let's get back here. Like I said, same thing. These two beds are the same thing. Um, the soil isn't as great, but we're not gonna give up on it. Um, really the only thing doing well in this bed is the squash. That one's doing great. That one's doing okay. So we just have to be patient, um, but I planted a bunch of strawberries right here. And a bunch of seeds right there. So hopefully they start to sprout. We won't give up. Okay, let's come over here. And these are our tomatoes. Our neighbor was very nice and kind. Um, he starts his own tomatoes every year. And he gives me some every year. So he gave us a few, four. And they are doing much better now that we got some rain this past week. They're doing much better than looking healthy. Before they were kind of struggling. But now they're looking good. And we'll go. I'll show you over here. If you look down here, let me get a close up if you want. Um, you'll see some sweet potatoes. These are we, we just did this today. I got some sweet potato um, slips, and we just put them in the soil. So hopefully, we get us some sweet potatoes. And then you come over here. It's our strawberry. So one of the strawberries is trying to do something. So hopefully, we get it to get some some fruit on it. We've never actually grown a strawberry before, so we're excited about that. And then, of course, more peppers. More peppers. These are the sweet peppers. So hopefully we get some fruit on that. We planted this one from seed. So hopefully we get, and it's just starting to sprout. Like I said, it just got one this week. I think it's another pepper. Yep. This is a red bell pepper. The first one was, I think, orange. And tomatoes. We planted these from seed. From seed. So hopefully, we, hopefully they do pretty well. So, and then the last thing I'll show you is our cucumbers and watermelon. And this, I'm so proud of this. My dad put this whole thing from top to bottom. He put this whole thing, and when our um, watermelon and cucumbers start to grow, he put the vines. We can train the vines to go all up through here. And it'll look so cool. So that's what we're hoping to do. So right here. Okay, I'm really bad at selling a cucumber from a watermelon, but it's either a cucumber or a watermelon all throughout here. So again, we had this issue as I mentioned before. The soil can be a little compact. So what we decided to do is um, we're gonna leave some of the cucumbers and watermelons planted in the ground and see how it does. But we are also going to use some um, grow bags. And we're gonna put some watermelons and cucumbers in the grow bags as well, and just do a comparison of which one does better. Um, we have to get, we're gonna put some yellow meat watermelons in these other three sections uh, once we get the seeds for that. So we're gonna do a comparison and see how they, how they do as, as opposed to the ones in the ground. So I think that's it. That's our garden so far. Um, you know, still in the beginning of the season, so I have to keep giving you guys updates on how it does. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.